Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Did I come on a little bit too late? Welcome to The Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. This has got to be the worst story or one of the worst stories you could possibly think of if you're a parent. Because I don't care how good of a parent you are, your baby is already, nine out of ten times throughout his life, his, uh, I would say, from the time they're a toddler or about to be a toddler, infant to toddler stage, they haven't put something in their mouth that they shouldn't. Okay? I don't care how good of a parent you are, whether it's paper, you know, just crazy. Because that's what they do. They're very oral at that age. So, with that being said and with that known, when you got little kids around, it's imperative that you just put everything up. A lot of us, especially as grandparents, we get nervous. We'll be like, look, let me take a day before I, and, and get everything out the way before I bring the grandbaby over. You know what kind of grandmama you are or a grandfather. And so what we do is we put the things away to make sure they don't get a hold to because they're going to do it. Right? They're going to put their hands somewhere they don't have no business. Okay? So this story to me is just heartbreaking for the parents because there's nothing you can say to excuse it. And there's nothing to say to express how these parents got to feel. So this happened in West Allis. A mother and a father in West Allis. It's a biracial couple, by the way. Uh, are both charged in connection with the death of their toddler. Court records say 17-month-old had enough fentanyl in her system to kill an adult. Lord Jesus. A neighbor said the child, identified by the medical examiner as Elione Lane, was such a beautiful little girl and was heartbroken to learn, to learn that the child had died. It wasn't until toxicology results came back that they learned why the baby died. The child's mother and father appeared in court Monday, October 17th, each charged with neglecting a child where the consequences is death as party to a crime. Mr. Lane, I don't have to tell you this is serious. It was your own child that died, for goodness sake, said the Milwaukee County Court Commissioner Grace Flynn. Court records say that the father, Shavante Lynn, found his 17-month-old daughter unresponsive at their home within Hillside Mobile Home Court in West Allen. They rushed her to the hospital in the early morning hours of October 2nd, where she was pronounced dead. Toxicology reports came back showing that the child had enough fentanyl in her system to kill an adult. Uh -huh. Damn, it is tragic, but you know that you lost your own child, but the majority of the homes do not have fentanyl where there is exposure to the child, said Flynn. The neglig negligence is so heightened here to me. The mother, Alizé Kami, 25, cried throughout the whole initial appearance. Her defense attorney pointed out that she had no criminal history and requested a signature bond. Miss Kamini took the child to the hospital. She tried to do CPR. She did all the things that any concerned mother would do, said Amanda Polzaniski, the defense attorney. Now they're going to leave a brother out to dry. You know that, right? The medical examiner office said since 2020, there have been four confirmed deaths in children, five and under, in Milwaukee County from drugs. What the hell is wrong with y'all? So you want to get high and leave the dope around your kids. See, see, this, y'all need to go outside and use. Let's see. Ugh. With two additional cases that are being investigated as probable fentanyl deaths. We killing our own children. We're killing our own children with our drug use. 
If that don't make you kick the habit, you're going to kick it anyway when you go to jail. But this should be the great catalyst. Oh, I'm sorry you had to pay a price that high. But that's what your drug use cost you. You cost you your own 17-month-old child. God. I'm sorry, y'all. If you like what you hear, tell me what y'all think about this. Have you heard this story? Um, it's just sad all the way around. Sending the baby to the death with fentanyl. That fentanyl is all over the place, huh? That's why y'all should be scared. If you got a drug habit, this is the uh, definitely the time to kick it. Cause see, they, yeah, they cutting that stuff now, and letting you know they don't care what you what you get. Now y'all want to mess with stuff that that get you dead instantly. How high is high enough? I'm too high, I'm so high, I feel like I'm about to die. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, kill the baby.